Hey friends, I got your daily Bible readings. We're reading chapter 4 of Genesis right now. And Adam and Eve knew, I'm sorry, and Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, <clears throat> Where is thy brother Abel? And Cain said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Four people in the Bible, and we already got a murder. Or four people on planet Earth, and we've already got a murder, y'all. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand? When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. And Cain, Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from my face shall I be hid. From thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. I don't understand that, y'all. <clears throat> there's four people in the world. Now there's three because one got murdered. But what people is God talking about here? The only people that I know of is left is uh, Adam and Eve and Cain. But, but the Lord told Cain here that if anybody takes vengeance on him for murdering his brother, that they, and, and God put a mark on Cain. I just don't understand that. <clears throat> Anyway, and Cain went out from the presence of the Lord, and, and that's something 
we better never do, y'all. Don't ever, never, ever, ever, never go out from the presence of the Lord. Never. Never, never, ever. Y'all got it? And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife. Now, where did she come from? We've got Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel. Abel is gone now, so it's just Adam and Eve and Cain. Where did Cain's wife come from? She crawled out from under a rock or what? I don't I don't know. I can't answer you that. The Bible doesn't say anything about God creating more people like he did Adam and Eve. So I don't know where this wife of Cain came from. Anyway, she magically appeared. Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he builded a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. And Enoch, unto Enoch was born Irad, and Irad beget Mahuchil. And where did these people come from? I don't know. Uh, people just showing up all over the place. I guess Adam and Eve having more kids that they didn't tell us about or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. And Lamech took unto him two wives. I can't even find one. And here's a guy at the beginning of earth already got two. And Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of one was Adah, and the name of the other was Zillah. He got, a, he got wives from A to C. Adah and Zillah. And Adah bare Jabel. He was the father of of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. You got people living in tents. You got, according to the Bible, what, what we're told in the Bible, we got three people on planet Earth. But here we got a whole slew of people, and some of them living in tents. Where's the tent manufacturer at? They didn't tell us about that. And his brother, this guy's name, Jabal's brother's name was Jubal. You got Jabal and Jubal. <laughs> his parents was real innovative. They just changed one letter. Jabal and Jubal. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. Now we got harps and organs. Where did they come from? And tents. And Zilla, she also bare Tubal Cain, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubal Cain was Naamah. And Lamech said unto his wives, Adah and Selah, hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech, hearken unto my speech. For I have slain a man to my wounding and a young man to my hurt. <coughs> if Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech, Seventy and seven fold. And Adam knew his wife again. All right, here we got Adam and Eve again. We got Adam, Eve, Cain, Abel. Abel is gone. He got murdered. So now we got another Adam and Eve's going to have another one, looks like. And she bare a son and called his name Seth. For God said, she hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And so, and to Seth, to him also there was born a son. Where did Seth's wife come from, and how come they didn't give me her name? And he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. 
that it's about time. The populating of the world is happening pretty rapidly here. Just in four chapters, we're already getting the earth populated. And thank God that some of them are calling upon the name of the Lord. Well, they sure don't today. Oh, not very many of them anyway. That's it, y'all. That's today's Bible reading. Sorry I couldn't explain it. I don't know where all these people just poof suddenly came from. You know, it told us about Adam and Eve having three kids <clears throat> now through that chapter. But there's got to be some other kids being born somewhere. I don't know where. I've had a good day in God's Word. I hope y'all have had a good day. It is cold here, y'all. We <clears throat> had snow in the forecast again today. I looked outside early this morning when I saw the weather forecast, and there wasn't any snow out there then. And at 1, one o'clock, I checked the mail and brought it in, and there wasn't any snow there. So I don't know if it's coming later today or what, but it is cold. I, I'm talking about seriously cold. And that's that. <laughs> I'm not on the Texas Gulf Coast anymore, Toto. <laughs> I guarantee you that. All right, y'all. Y'all behave, and I'll try to. I'll tell you what. Living alone in a place far, far away from home where I don't know anybody, I behave pretty good, y'all. And that's good for me because I get to really spend some good quality time with the Lord. And I love it. God bless you, friends.